experimenting with a new Esper Convoke archetype within today's video. Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. Thank you all so much for taking the time to support the channel. I truly appreciate it. My name is Hello Good Game, and I'm pleased to be your host within this Magic the Gathering Arena deck guide video. We will be breaking down in depth the Esper Convoke deck, discussing both the strategies as well as synergies, providing you with a deeper understanding of how to pilot this deck effectively and efficiently. Furthermore, demonstrating this within our Mythic Ranked gameplay footage against the best decks as well as players in game. Finally, concluding with our wrap up thoughts, channel news, and everything else that we can possibly think of. Thank you again all so much. I truly appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, become a YouTube member, join the community Discord. We'd love to have you. But most importantly, kick back, relax, and enjoy today's video. It's a new lap record. Here we are, Esper Convoke, which of course is a black, blue, and white deck uh, of the mid-range variety, focusing around reducing uh, the casting cost via Convoke of our non-creature spells. This is done through our core card, Invasion of Segovia, a three-mana battle that will enter with four protection counters on it on your opponent's side of the battlefield, right? You'll need to attack this or deal damage to it to remove those protection counters, at which point it will transform uh, and you'll be able to cast for free the Sea Tyrant of Segovia, which is quite nice. So when the invasion enters play, you're going to create two one ones with Trample, which is pretty good. That's going to help take down those protection counters. And uh, furthermore, once you flip it, it will be a legendary 3-3 non-creature spells you uh, cast can convoke. Uh, this is fantastic for us. And of course, at the beginning of your upkeep, untap up to four target creatures will allow us to now reconvoke those creatures with an instant speed spell on our opponent's turn. So this is our core card that we're building around. So we will want um, to make tokens uh, with non-creature spells. We do have a couple uh, creatures that make tokens as well, which is quite nice. So. First and foremost, the wedding announcement. Three copies of this in deck for three mana as an enchantment. At the beginning of your end step, put an invitation counter on wedding announcement. If you've attacked with two or more creatures this turn, draw a card. Otherwise, create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. And then if wedding announcement has three or more invitation counters on it, transform it into the wedding festivity. An enchantment that has uh, the ability giving creatures you control plus one, plus one, um, passively or statically, which is quite nice, right? Uh, pushing up our uh, creature base as a whole, as uh, it could potentially also generate three of those creatures or you know um, some card draw, which is acceptable as well. We've talked about the invasion generating the two one ones. We'll also utilize the Ardenvale Fealty for two at instant speed as the adventure attached to the virtue of loyalty. Okay, so you'll create a two two knight with vigilance. The virtue of loyalty uh, is quite nice with the deck as well. At the beginning of your end set, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control and untap those creatures, which is quite nice with that instant speed convoke, as eventually we will have more than four creatures, okay? Um, so this will untap them all instead of four, which the Sea Tyrant would do, and also apply that plus one, plus one counter, which is great. Uh, furthermore, a non-creature that you can convoke into play, because it is a little expensive at five, but it's really not if you're tapping those creatures, playing it, and then immediately with the untapping everything that you just tapped, right? So it works all up quite nicely together, okay? Um, some creatures uh, that can generate tokens as well. The Chrome Host Seed Shark for three, a two, four with flying. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, incubate X, where X is that spell's mana value. So, you know, not only is this a creature in the deck that can generate tokens, not just non-creatures, uh, but it itself will capitalize off of those other non-creatures in the deck, which is quite nice. So uh, it will be partnered with a Lord Skitter, Sewer King for three, a 3-3 three, three legendary. And whenever a rat enters the battlefield under your control, exile up to one target card from an opponent's graveyard. And at the beginning of combat on your turn, create a 1-1 one, one rat uh, creature token that cannot block, which is quite nice for us all in all. Um, you know, controlling our opponent's graveyard, creating additional tokens for us to convoke each turn is great. Okay. Um, additional token generation, I suppose, through Intrude the Mind for five at instant speed. So this is something that we really like to cast after uh, we flip the tyrant on our opponent's turn with our creature base. 
Reveal the top five cards of your library, separate them into two piles, and the opponent will choose one of those piles, put that into your hand, and the other goes into your graveyard. Create a zero, zero colorless thopter artifact creature token with flying, and then put that many plus one plus one counters on it for each card put into your graveyard this way, right? So some card draw, an additional creature that we can now utilize with that convoke to carry on. Very nice. It's the theme of the deck, yes? Furthermore, we can create a token through Protect the Negotiators for two mana at instant speed, kicking for an additional white mana. If it was kicked, create a 1-1 one, one Soldier. Counter target spell unless its controller pays one for each creature you control. Kaya, Spirit's Justice for four, three starting loyalty, plus one. Create a 1-1 one, one white and black creature token with flying. Ashiok for five, five starting loyalty, minus two. Create two 1-1 one, one black nightmare creature tokens with at the beginning of combat on your turn. If a card was put into exile this turn, put a plus one plus one counter on this creature, which is quite nice. And then finally, Sunfall for five. Exile all creatures. Incubate X, where X was the number of creatures uh, exiled this way. And that incubate token's quite nice as well, right? So uh, plenty of ways to create tokens in deck. We should also throw Mirex into the equation. Tap it for four, create a 1-1 one, one Might. That's beautiful. We will also have the Anchorage, which will create a map token. Uh, whenever it attacks as a 2-3 for four, it needs to be the, the fourth mana, of course, as it is a land, which is quite nice. And, um, you know, the token generation here is A, really good for the Convoke, right? B, it's really good for the Virtue of Loyalty. But C, we can also now utilize Kaya a little bit more. Her static ability, whenever one or more creatures you control and or creature cards in your graveyard are put into exile, you may choose a creature card from among them. Until the end of turn, uh, target token you control becomes a copy of it, except it has flying. So this is a great way for us to capitalize on some of that uh, exile with our tokens, right? We need the tokens to become a copy of a, a card, a creature that we're exiling, right? Which is quite nice. Of course, we can control our opponent's graveyard here as well. Plus two, surveil, and then exile card from a graveyard. We could do that to ourselves if we wanted, or, you know, again, just our opponent if need be. Minus two, and this is my favorite, exile uh, target creature you control, and for each uh, other player, exile up to one other uh, target creature that they control, which is quite nice. You know, it's just hard removal, which we uh, definitely do not complain about aside from that um you know it's a lot of interaction uh on the note of the exile uh, it's not only kai's ability here that can trigger that but we'll also be playing with soul partition for two mana instant speed exile target non-land permanent for as long as it remains exile that's owner may play it if it was an opponent spell they're gonna have to pay two more yours will remain untaxed sunfall we've already talked about this exiling everything which is quite nice all right, so a couple options there for us. The Skitter can also exile from Graveyard. Food for thought. And, um, you know, while we're talking about the Graveyard, we can re-pull from it with the Virtue of Persistence for seven. Convoking this into play is really nice, reducing uh, that within our mana curve, technically. Um, at the beginning of your upkeep, put a creature card from a Graveyard into the battlefield under your control, which is quite nice, whether it's your creature or your opponent's creature. Um, of course, we do have the Sorcery Speed Adventure. Target creature gets minus three, minus three until the end of turn. You gain two life within the Lockthwain Scorn. Uh, of course, more removal in deck. Two copies of Cut Down for one mana at instant speed, destroying creature with total power and toughness five or less. Two copies of Bitter Triumph also at instant speed, but for two mana. As an additional cost to cast this spell, you may discard a card or pay three life to destroy creature or planeswalker pay three life is mitigated through ashiok's static ability if you would pay life while your library has at least that many cards in it exile that many cards uh, from the top of your library instead and this will also help the minus seven target player exiles the top x cards of their library where x is the total mana value cards you own in exile now the adventure cards do go into exile once you've cast the adventure which could help you accumulate mana Kai can also exile sunfall is exiling soul partition can exile skitter can exile it's all here baby no more lies is there for you as well um but that's exiling your opponent's card so that's not really helping but nonetheless that's really going to help uh as a whole those other cards 
within Ashiox minus seven, not to mention Ashiox plus ability will feed this, looking at the top two cards of your library, exiling one of them, putting the other into your hand, uh, which is quite nice. Also kind of acting as a draw engine, filling the graveyard for Kai, you know, it all comes together quite nicely. And um, I like it. It's pretty cool. No more lies here as an additional counter spell alongside protecting the negotiators. Instant speed countering target spell unless its controller pays three. If it was countered exile instead, of course, right? So uh, additional creature lands alongside Mirix within the reef, the um, anchorage, as well as the fortress, all attacking, which is quite nice. And then some surveil as well, um, some pain lands as well as the slow dual lands. Uh, just to keep it consistent as it is a, a three color deck, right? So uh, having a lot of fun with Esper Convoke, something new. Um, just having fun with the meta while we wait for the new spoiler season to start. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, become a YouTube member. Join the community Discord if you ever want to stop by and say hello. And um, yeah, enjoy. All right, on the draw, let's keep seven. See where we get to. In slow with a surveil. Shark goes. And we look for our fourth land. Uh oh. That's a good card. Counter magic is up. We also have spot removal open. Let's take it to exile. They already have one engrave though, right? Not a lot of lands engrave. We should almost immediately take that, right? I'm going to go shark. Invade on top of the shark. They need to grab back from their grave. They also need blue land. Having dealt with one Nissa permanently is good. The second engrave's not great. I'm sure there's two more, though. There is an island. All right. They will just activate that on the spot, right? Which is fine, I understand. Let's hit it for two. We ideally flip it next turn. They're gonna grab some lands here, but it's, you know, not the end of the world. It's still ramping them, and that's not great. But, you know, it happens. It's a very good deck, a very fun deck to play. We need to basically just save this counter magic um, for that lethal spell. Um, I don't even remember the name of it, though. It's like Wildfire or something. It's red and green X. A gruel spell. Ren and Seven's super duper fireball. <laughs> Checks notes. Uh, no, I don't think that's it. Maybe it's Ren and Six. Maybe it's just Ren. 
I'm sure we'll find out. It's not a card I've actually played a lot with. All right, Cedar. Grabbing the life. And they have six available mana already. It's extensive. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Timeout used. They must have something. Four cards in hand. Checking out the shark. Uh, World Souls Rage will be the card. They grab three more land, grab three more life. Pretty good. They must be out of basics soon. It's impressive. They are tapped out. Let's take this. Now we can convoke. Would we be kicking this? Wouldn't matter. This is better. And we can convoke this as well, right? We have no white source to kick it if we activate, but we could activate in real time. So let's on tap. That's good. They have so much mana. <laughs> so we could, but then they just replay it. Let's just make the spare creature. Take our turn. Lord Skitter out into graveyard control. We should take the Deluge, I think. We attack them directly. Do they have, we could take, I guess their Nyssa with a virtue. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right, I see you, I see you. That's pretty good. Nice. Bit of a bummer there. Ooh. Ooh! Aftermath back in play. And simultaneously leaving play. Sacrificing itself pre-mill. Right, so it's less lands. How do you still have basic lands in your deck? That's crazy. All of them. Wow. Mm. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. I need... Well, Skitter is an attack thing, which is great. That's for the next one. First one is Skitter. Now we're back taking the Deluge again. Let's take our Tyrant since the first one's been removed. At least it's something, Mac. <laughs> we'll untap. Taking their draw engine at this point is good. Right, it's worth going for it. We get the rat token as well. And it allowed us to take, grab our tyrant back, which, you know, maybe now we can get this virtue in play and start taking their um, creatures permanently, which would be great. I mean, I love a sea turtle. Pet sea turtle? Are you kidding me? No! Okay. Sucks. It's good. It's not bad. It's all right. <laughs> they have all the mana in the world. Um, they just need another damage spell, which I'm sure they most definitely have. And can't this grab it back? No creature, uh, return target card from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah, they totally can. So they're going to grab that rage back and blast us for a billion. I don't have a white source, unfortunately, for a convoked. Oh. They would probably be doing that instant speed, right? What if we trick them into taking a Nissa instead? I think that might be the play line. Sometimes people rely a little too heavily on the spirits of one of another. They didn't. They couldn't respond to it. Should have definitely taken the rage then. That's on me. I thought they could respond to it. Let's untap. I mean, I guess we know from next turn if there is a next turn. Somehow, I don't think so, because they're going to grab it back here. To think that we could have snagged it. That's pretty brutal, right? Should we bounce this as well? It resets them grabbing the turtle again. If not, we're definitely dead, though. We have to take it. They still have all the mana in the world, so I'm pretty sure they just still do it, but... I mean, that costs nine now. Which is a lot of their mana. They still tap for 15, though. So we have heard, like, 13 or something crazy. Seems all right. 
<laughs> yeah, not bad, not bad, not bad. So they go for it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 minus 2 is x equals 13. It's crazy. We'll take it from grave, though, if we get it. Or they just like have a second one in hand. That could be too. I need that card in my hand immediately. All right, good game. I mean, our counter spells right here which is pretty funny, and it would be uh, them paying three, four if we kick it, right? Which they could easily do, right? There's like 2,000 mana here, so they just need to leave four of it untapped, which is just two lands, right? Six mana, three and three. Good game. Easy peasy. It's a pretty cool deck. I like it. Not bad. Going first with nice land and a, I think a pretty good hand, right? In slow. It's not the worst, but I don't have the land for it. Mirix could, but, uh, you know, I think I just want to cast this. Right, so we play our untapped land on two. Do we want to block this? Oh, no haste, only if it's blitzed. Was not blitzed. I see. Better blocker here. Um... But on the same hand, you know, whatever. Should have attacked first and played the shark second main phase, but attacking was uh, not our first priority. Oh, this is like interesting. They just want the counter. Make the treasure, lose both creatures. That's fine. Are they gonna play another creature, get rid of summoning sickness? Well, it could trigger itself at this point. All right, well, this is fantastic. Oh, we don't have our black source. It's not fantastic. Far less than expected. I'm going to hit for two. Pass turn. We have double blockers at instant speed. Forge is not good. I'm sorry. Uh, that's a three-drop card that they've played now. I hope you lose to that HGG. Why not sack the treasure? Wow, they've gone wild. Did they sack the wrong creature? Is that what that's about? Where are you going, poor guy? Girl, gaffer. Ghoul or goblin. I like that double block, though. Flash speed. That's very good. Going first on a single land. Right? It's like, well, you can go first, but... It's 
gonna be uh, a little tricky. I guess he's just throw the five drop for now. Pray for a third and fourth land. Looking for the fourth here. Oh, but we keep that instead. It's good enough. Oh. Well, that's annoying. They take bitter triumph. They have to. One hundred percent have to. We know they have removal, so keep the shark. They see protectors. They know we can kick it. Well, I can't just sit here the whole game. Oh my god. This is a little bit harder to remove. It could just be a counter spell. Not getting the fourth land sucks, but maybe this can help generate some value. Still struggling on our fourth land. Hmm. Number one. Double down on the wedding announcement, I suppose, and just try to build long term value. You should definitely counterspell it. Yeah. That's not bad. I mean, get the spell out of their hand. Right? Oh, they have their own. Nice. Very nice. If our one, that's fine. Really? I need the draw. Hit for two. We find our land, which is nice. Kick it. And then we get an additional blocker. Now they know we had that, so maybe that was like a... You know, try to pull a counterspell move. They're baiting us. So we can't counter our fiend. Which we wouldn't have been able to anyways. This is still quite good. I'm surprised they don't double attack for a double connive. Interesting. They don't want the draw. They want the token. Which is fine too. Added value later. Let's swing in. Let's counter it while we can. We honestly might interrupt the bat. They don't know we have it. We have another counterspell, but I doubt that they're dropping something that expensive. Right? It'd have to like cost four more. Shouldered, I guess. Hmm. 
you know, probably not terrible. Okay. We take it. No knife. They can replay the bat. That's fine. We still take three. Not great. That transforming is brutal. We need a field wipe, but we're not finding one. I mean, we could take the bat. They'd probably kill Kaya after, but then at least we have permanent removal. We don't have anything. Just click through it. Um, blocking Kaya or just taking damage? Kaya's gonna die anyways. We're tapped out. You know that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven land. I'm at four. It's a bit of an advantage, right? They can draw four cards here. Wow. Um, are they missing lethal? Four, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I think so. It's whatever though. Toss lands instead, I guess. Ow! So simultaneously grabbing our fifth land, which already should be in play, uh, as well as our sunfall. It's easy, right? Not hard. So they have like a backup Rafine, which is brutal in so many ways, and they can pay for it. So we pass turn, and as soon as they go to combat, we interact. And that way Rafine's not actually having use it's a draw engine for them as a double attack will take place okay let's kill Rafine we have to discard a card I'll miss you maybe we should have played the shark um, oh no because then we wouldn't have been able to do this that's right Attack, which we can again get in around and about. Oh, what am I doing? Well, I guess they don't care anyways. I was concerned about Rafine. I can't believe they didn't play Rafine there. They don't want odds. They, they, they've got this anyways. The, the creature land just, well, you say that. Bit of a bummer. Good game. All right, our opponent's gonna go first. Cool. Mono red, no. Domain, interesting. Domain leisure. We're in slow. Counter available on two and three. Removal along the way. Um, 
you know, making sure that we're hitting everything appropriately. Oh, it's a cave deck. Okay, okay. I'm going to go for it. Draw a card, gain some life. Four land, I'm tapped. Shark's pretty good. Removal, okay. Okay. To the graveyard! Mirix active. Past turn. I love Mirix, it's a good card. We have our fifth as well. Okay. Mirix is a go. Land out. I'm holding up that five mana. If we don't need to counter the spell. Ooh, nice. I mean, I won't counter that. It's just a draw spell, whatever. It's a lot of life, but we'll get there. Maybe, I don't know. We should be able to. I'm worried about counter magic, so just more mites. March. I mean, I'm happy to take your card. Another. That's good. Surveil. I guess the lands can go at this point, maybe. Let's pass turn. It's all right. It's not great. I guess they're just looking to collect caves. Which is good against us. Right? Very much so. Yep. I mean, three cards in hand. Oh, that's good. That would be worth countering. Nice draw. All right, swing for two. We grab our next land. Up to eight. It's nice to curve out. Makes a big difference. Okay, it's going to get messy. Good card. The combo counter. Not too shabby. Puts us in an awkward position, but it's getting to the point where they have so much mana available. And while they're tapped out, 
I'm going to slide this little puppy in play. We can grab our shark back. Boom. Farewell. No. <laughs> they don't really have any creatures for us to take. They're looking at our graveyard, seeing what we've got. It's just the shark. It's not much. It's something, you know. Hmm. Rope up. Interesting. Oh, blur out too. Hello, camera. Can you see the streamer? Welcome back. Oh, thank you. Kind of. Oh. They had another. They had another. And that's why, you know, we got to get after it while we can. Because... They're a ramp deck, and, you know, they're going to be overcoming our counter magic like that and this, so. We will need to do our best. This is four out of three. We can kill it, though, instant speed, which would be good. There's only one of them right now. We brought them up to four. Not terrible. More land. I mean, maybe we want to, like, that intrude could potentially grab another counterspell or something of use. They have five. We could go to three. And then four. We'll let them have it. Alright, time to intrude. They may have counter magic of their own. It's a possibility. Two cards in hand. I think, right? think they would give us probably Kaya. I don't know though. That's hard. that's a good split. I like that. And it fills our grave for Kaya as well, right? So yes. And now Kaya's can, you know, do the rat thing. Murex Adelphia as well. Ooh, hello. So let's uh, get after it, I guess. Ashok should probably be countered, but we'll see. Four available mana. Could also just straight up be removal. Also. Oh no, one, two, that is not good. We could do this instead, but I'd rather just have them tapped out. Um, and like, so we lose a spell, whatever. Um, or our mana, but they lost a spell for nothing. We get blockers to help protect against their land if they commit to it. Could be a field wipe and the land to take Ashiok. Um, 
just kind of like looking at their land here. I think it's just the uh, these ones I'm worried about. The Maw. Becoming three threes. Pretty good. Last card in hand as well. I mean, it's not terrible. If they were going to take it, I would just let them take it with all of that and return fire, right? I mean, it's an angle to take, for sure. If they wanted. I would probably remove Ashiok, I guess, if I had the, the chance to, like, you know. Oh, nice. Zero zeros. They don't take the plus one plus one counters with them. Doppelgang is cool, though. Couldn't they have copied um, Ashiok? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Even the grandest ideas start small. Get after it. We can easily take a land. Those are all Mirixes, hey? That's kind of crazy. We let them declare blockers first. Or else they just use this mana to bring more out, right? Oh, well, that's all of them. <gasps> Non-land. It's all right. We could even potentially soul partition our own Ashiok. Is that needed? Or just continue to pile on with tokens? <laughs> this will be child's play. We could take a land. Come in many shapes. We'll get to it. But they all look like a fighting to me. They did draw, and they do have a lot of these, but again, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine damage. Is it worth focusing my planeswalkers? I don't know. You have a lot of those, eh? I didn't realize. <laughs> wow. I'll race. I got no problem with that. Oh, yeah. Sent two into Kaya, why don't you? Yes, I wanted uh, Ashiok. Oh, three. Really committing to it there. <laughs> no damage to my person, you say? Oh, interesting. Two here, three here. Do we want to keep Ashiok alive? The plus would be good. The draw would be nice. I think we do. Oops. Oh, the three of them on Ashiok.
Kaya, Ashiok, Ashiok, Kaya, Kaya. Oh, it's just these two. Oh, I lost my mind. There we go. I think that's what we want. Keep the draw. Exile one, other in hand. So much drama Brutal. Push the nightmares up. Let's smash. Swoozy 100, thank you so much for the 11 months. You're fantastic. If there's ever anything I can do, let me know. All right. More creatures, so our protect the negotiators is good. Um, that's kind of useless right now. You can have it. Untap our blockers. Field wipe off the top. <laughs> oh, no way. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. I, I see it paid off, right? Just need more creatures. That's a crazy counterspell at that point. Esper can evoke definitely a deck. Um, needing some more work, I think, in all honesty. No more lies. Great, but not as good as protect the negotiators here. So maybe we get rid of that. We just take three protect the negotiators, call it good here. Um, Really liking Kaya with Intrude the Mind. I'd like to work more on that. I think we maybe just need to add more creatures potentially. Um, the Seed Shark and Lord Skidder are perfect, but maybe some two drops as well. Um, you know, obviously the virtue of loyalty with the invasion is absolutely fantastic within all of our creature base, uh, both non-creature token and, and creature. Uh, alike, which is quite nice. The draw and control is abundant. Um, so, you know, like maybe a rebalancing of that control slash interaction, as well as, um, you know, hunting out some new creatures that we could put in the deck um, for Kai's ability, right? Maybe even uh, going up on the curve instead. Um, I don't want to say attracts out loud, but you know what I mean, right? So something maybe a little bit more powerful. Um, since it does disappear at the end of the turn, okay? Uh, again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a magical day. I truly appreciate your time and attention. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. That really helps alongside the watch time. If you ever want to stop by and say hello in a more personal manner, I'm on Twitch. Uh, I'm in the Discord every day. If you want to share a deck or something, right? Um, cheers, I'll see you soon in the next. Take care and have a magical day.